my mom has given me about $120 a week to pay for 15 tapes. To pay for 15 tapes a week, right? So I have 15 of these tapes a week that I get to utilize in order to make these, uh, in order to make these segments. So like, I do have somewhat of a limit to my uh, to my resources, but like after this one, I'm I'm most likely not going to have like too many problems with uh, with my funding. Um, uh, most people, the people who watch this will immediately recognize that like that I'm something that like many people have only many people have only theorized about the existence of, but I actually do exist. And I'm going to keep releasing this shit on eBay until I have enough money to start making the films that I need to make or the films that I want to make and that need to be made in order for people to understand how the universe works properly. So like, so like, like I understand everything and I'm like, you know, I like Tom Cruise's films and he seems like an alright guy, you know, like, uh, this, this is weird, I was just watching Vanilla Sky and I can explain everything in Vanilla Sky that needs to be explained. How it's like, uh, how how like uh, Jonathan Ames is like hated by everyone, right? And they try to they try to get him. They're trying to kill him because he's it, right? He is like what the universe is about in that movie. And and Julie Gianni is put up to killing him, right? So she tries to kill him, but he survives, right? Because he can't die because his life is just jumping from dream world. His life is just jumping from dream world recreation to dream world recreation, right? And so, like, she manages to make him, like, fucked up. She, she manages to get his continuity to uh, accept him as, accept the fact that he gets uh, disfigured, right? So she gets him in the car, she tries to off him, but he survives, right? Then, like, uh, you know, then his life is ruined because he's, all he knows is, like, you know, his smile and, like, uh, but the thing is, they, they totally gloss over this. He is a very accomplished, he is an, he is an accomplished artist. He, he, he really, he knows how to render people, like, as an artist, like, uh, in an ama in a, with, with, with a start, with a startling efficiency, right? Like, there, he's just, like, sketching, uh, what's her face? Hold on. I am uh, Sophia, right? Go away. So, like, he's sketching Sophia, and he's like, here you go, and the eyes are the proper amount, distance apart, and, like, everything's represented perfectly, right? And it's like, I see that, like, like initially when I saw the film, I'm like, okay, wow, that's amazing. He's a great artist, right? And then, like, by the middle of the film, I forget about it, right? And then, he, you know, he's in prison, he's in jail, and he's, like, doing all of these sketches of her from memory, right? He is an amazing artist. Like, oh, why, why does everyone love him? Why does everyone love David Ames? Because he's good looking and rich? No, because he's genuine. He is an artist who loves women and like, and he's really not, he's trying not to hurt Julie Gianni, right? He's like, he's, they're, they're fucking and he's like, he's trying not to like get attached to her because he knows he's just going to break it off with her, right? So like, so like, uh, she's like, you can't, like I swallowed your cum, David, don't, that means something, right? And on a level, there are some weird chicks out there that think that swallowing a guy's cum equals, like, some sort of, like, universal, like, magical bond or something because it's his essence or some shit, right? And so, he, like, when I saw, when I was watching that film, I already, like, I got that, and I'm like, ah. Like, my first girlfriend, like, swallowed my cum, right? The, fir the first blowjob I ever got, my, my first girlfriend swallows, right? And she's Catholic. And she says, you don't, you don't, you didn't mind, did you? Right? And I'm like... I, I don't mind, she's like, you don't mind, do you? And I'm like, that you swallowed my cum? It's supposed to be, like, the best thing ever, right? Because, like, all of my older friends are like, dude, if a girl drinks, you know, it's it's the best, right? And then, like, and then, like, you know, eventually the moment comes where I'm like, the moment arrives, go, the moment comes where I'm like, what does it taste like, right? These girls are swallowing it, you know, and it's like, ah, no, or, or I knew what it smelled like, but, like, what does it taste like? Ugh, right? And then eventually, when I start communicating with spirits, all of these chick spirits that I'm interacting with are like, Greg, do the whole load. Swallow your whole load, then you'll know how it feels for us to swallow your whole load, right? And like, 
it, the, the moment doesn't happen until I'm in jail, right? So I'm in jail and I'm like, I'm going to try that whole load experiment that I've been putting off, right? So I swallowed my whole load and it's like, ah! <laughs> it's like the worst, it's the worst experience. It's a horrible experience. And I, and like, there's, there's a, there's actually another segment that you can actually, uh, um, reference, uh, or, or watch. It's the first one that I uh, posted on YouTube. You can watch that for, for some more insights on swallowing cum. Don't do it. Anyway, <laughs> hold on. Swallowing cum. Okay, I might get sued if I do that. But anyway, um, don't swallow cum because it's not good. Cum. It's better on your chest. Like, these, this is, that's a good, like, uh... <laughs> I'm trying to escape uh, the things. Anyway, but, like, um... So, like, uh... Instead of, instead of swallowing cum, just jack the dude off onto your chest. He won't care, you know? Just, like, uh, you know, pull out, and then just start jacking... And then just, you know, do this, you know, like, yeah, here, right? And like, hopefully you're naked. Like, if you're not naked, then like, um, you know, you know, just everywhere, you know, just like, you know, you could just be like, Woo! <laughs> you know, and it could just be like, you know, you could just be like, oh, no, my car, you know, my interior, I'm gonna have to clean this, you know, <laughs> yeah, over here, some over there, <laughs> good luck cleaning this shit up, you know, and then leave. He'll love you. He'll be like, man, that chick was awesome. Man, that sucks. I gotta clean this shit up now. I gotta come over here, all over this place, on the windows and shit, you know? And then, like, you know, like, a week later, you'll be driving around, and you'll pick some, you'll pick your friends up, and they'll be like, man, what's this over here, <laughs> right? Go away. And you'll be like, what, 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 did, what is it? Oh, man, it looks like your jizz or some shit, right? And you'll be like, no, shit, I missed some, right? Don't worry, because now that I've told you that story... Right when you're about to come, you're going to be like, hold up, hold up. Let me find a cup or some shit, right? Yeah. Anyway. So, like, um... So, anyway. I'm talking to you, Tom Cruise. Hold on. No, but, like, uh... So, like, um... You know, so I see that, like... I'm reading up, and it's like... Tom Cruise puts Katie Holmes in, in the sauna for three hours. And I'm like, okay, whatever with this shit, right? So, it's like... The thing that Tom Cruise needs to know is that, like... He's talking, he's like paying people for, for secrets that he's supposed to figure out himself or not pay for, right? Ah, so back to Vanilla, back to Vanilla Sky. Get lost, trash. So like back to Vanilla Sky, uh, no, what, what, are, what am I doing, you know? Anyway, a lot of people are like, uh, oh, D D D L. Ron Hubbard is like, L. Ron Hubbard is like going, what is this person, <laughs> right? These, these are people who, who thought that like there's some sort of formula you know, where it's like, Jesus isn't real, God isn't real, and there's like a secret society of information, knowledge bearers. And so I figured out everything that everyone in the universe knows, plus more that they didn't know. And so it's like, why are you, so it's like, why are you wasting your money with Scientology? Why? And like, oh, because you don't know who I am, right? See, I can read your mind. <laughs> anyway, no, but like, because you don't know who I am, and because people are lying to you. They're not telling you that, like, there's actually some guy who is the one, who is God, the supreme being of the universe, but he's broke, and he's playing this weird game where he's trying to make films in a world that doesn't recognize that he is God, and uh, very few people are helping him, you know, for nebulous reasons. A lot of psychic vampires in the D.C. area, if you didn't know already. Go away, weirdos. Hi. Right. Anyway, so, like, um... So like, uh, let's see. All right. So like, but then, but then the, like, so then David Ames kills himself, right? Because he sells his, uh, he sells his, he buys rather, he buys the lucid dream option, uh, at, uh, life extension and kills himself because he thinks he's going to be jumping into this like lucid dream. Right. And, uh, like I have this neat, uh, this neat, like uh, thing, like fan fiction sort of thing where it's like, ah, that was just like some sort of like, uh, you know, a ruse to get him to kill himself, right? But from the seven dwarves. No. Okay. Yes. I'm about to go to sleep here. Okay. Alright. 
So I'm living in my parents' basement 